Hi. What? Yes, I'm a cab with eyes. Is that a problem? They call me Narrator Gerblin. This is the first part of the so-called Tears of the Kingdom 1000% challenge. And in this part we're only getting the Great Sky Island. Now if you're wondering what is 1000%, it kind of looks like this. Get all upgrades on every armor piece, kill all 4 Modugas, complete all 5 dungeons, collect all 12 tiers, all 12 Zonai Relics, all 12 Schema Stones, defeat all 12 boss rematches and all 14 Gliox, activate all 15 Skyview Towers, get all 16 Batteries and all 20 Sages Wills, complete all 23 main quests, find all 30 Device Dispensers, kill all 34 Lynels and all 35 Flux Constructs, all 40 Froxes, all 49 Gloom Hands, find all 58 Wells, complete all 60 Side Adventures, kill all 69 High Noxes, complete all 81 Hudson Science Quests, kill all 87 Teleses, find all 120 Light Roots, complete all 139 Side Quests, complete all 152 Shrines, find all 197 Cave Entrances, get all 500 and I think 9 Compendium Entries, get 999 of every material, collect all 1000 Korok Seeds, get all 1317 Treasure Chests, and own 999,999 Rupees. As you may have realized, this is quite the challenge, and this is why I will split this in multiple parts. Please leave a like and subscribe, because I am giving my sanity for this challenge. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I need to tell you is that I am playing on version 1.0.0, and I am not intending on changing that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the software, change my own profile, and start a new game. Yes, you heard correctly. I am giving my complete save file for this challenge, so that I am definitely going to finish it and not just stop mid-game. But before I could start collecting anything, I had to go through the entire intro once again. Nobody really wants to see that again? You heard him, Editor Gerblin. Do something funny. Oh shit, my phone just stopped charging. Oh wait, we can skip that one, right? Must be sensing something. Yep, blah 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 blah. Okay. I hate the intro. Really, this is the worst thing I've, I've ever played. Arguably one of the worst intros Nintendo's ever made to a game. So let's clear this Tears Companion save slot. How do you do that again? Um, settings? If I like yell... Anyway, the app that I'm gonna use is Tears Companion because there are some treasure chests that are quite literally out of reach because they're underneath the floor. Yeah, great. Okay. So, we gotta see. The first thing that is worth mentioning is that we got the Archaic Legwear. I it was called Ancient Trousers, but I mean, Archaic Legwear is also like... I mean, a really, really fancy way of saying Ancient Trousers. After a very successful attempt of trying to skip the poor up head, we got another thing that is worth mentioning, our very first Korok. Nice, we can take that off the list. Unfortunately, we were quickly met with the fact that we don't have a singular ability, and therefore we would have to skip everything that we could have collected on the way to the Temple of Time. For all four things that you can now see marked, you will need a scent. So we made our way to the Temple of Time very quickly, ignoring everything that was on our way, the only goal being that door. Unlocking the door unlocks the three shrines on the main island of the Great Sky Island. My first shrine was the Altar Hand Shrine, because that's the path the game suggests for you. But before I got to the Altar Hand Shrine, I had to collect one more thing. After that, we quickly went to the Ultra Hand Shrine, skipping a Korok on the way. I will get that one later. In the Ultra Hand Shrine, we only had to collect one treasure chest to complete it with 
And you know the Ultra Hand Shrine, it's not too difficult. Yeah. Yeah, uh, those were the days, you know, when the world record was over an hour. You remember those times? I do. So now it was time to go to the Fuse Shrine. On the way to the Fuse Shrine there are not too many things to collect, but there are still a couple. And I obviously had to collect them all. So, if I'm not incorrect, there is a chest up here, and you need like you need to like build this infinite staircase from Mario 64 with those two things. Alrighty, and is there a chest up here? Wait, am I stupid? <sighs> there isn't even a chest up here, I forgot! Take care of you. Perfect. Alright, that was the chest I was talking about. I forgot that it was here and not up there. Now we take that entire thing. Do that, put it over here, and then we just get on. Perfect. Bye bye. At that point, there was only one thing left to collect before we could go into the Fuse Shrine. And after collecting that one Korok seed, I decided to call it a day because it was already 9 o'clock and I was really tired. I decided to come back on another day. Or we just stop right here actually, that, that could also be a thing because it's already really late and I don't feel like continuing right now. So I stopped the recording and came back the very next day. But the first thing I wanted to do when accessing the Fuse Shrine was to do MSG Not Found. In case you don't know, MSG Not Found is a glitch where you get the Master Sword from the tutorial, which is unbreakable, into your normal save file. And doing MSG Not Found went... well... its own ways.
Yeah! Yes! 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 It's here! It's here! Alright! And with that, welcome back! Oh, I mean, for you it was just a cut. To, for me it was a whole day. Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom, a thousand percent. This took so much longer than you think it would. It was incredible. But now, I have this, and no one can take that from me! And with that, I was back to beating shrines and collecting things like I normally would. In this shrine there is only one chest and it contains an opal, so we could very quickly beat the construct because now we have an undestructible sword and go ahead with the challenge. Oh, and we can also get the energy cell, I forgot. If you didn't know already, after beating the second shrine, the construct will walk up to you and tell you that it has something important to give you. And it will give you the first out of 16 energy cells. Getting all the key items is very much uh, appreciated. After getting 5 arrows, which were right next to the Inisa shrine, it was time to go to where the construct pointed us. To the Ascent shrine. However, going to the Ascent shrine requires us also to collect a ton of stuff on the way to it. So, enjoy this beautiful music from the Minish Cap, as this will take a little bit longer. Oh, Soldier Reaper, that's actually a good weapon for the star. I forgot that that was in here, not gonna lie. So we take those fire fruit, throw them in there. It wasn't even worth the problem. Oh, that actually was worth it! And, uh, get this chest that has an opal in it. Chop them down, they fall, and you gotta grab them mid-air, like this.
And after a feeble two hours of playtime, I have finally made it to the Ascent Shrine. The Gutenberg Shrine. Gutenberg. I don't even know. Inside the Gutenberg Shrine, I didn't have to collect one, I had to collect two treasure chests. And after that, it was just a matter of getting back to the door of time. Or at least, that's what you would think. The Archaic War Griefs. Also, can I just say, it makes no sense that you just stop having colds when like your head is covered with something. Yeah, it just, it just makes no sense, okay? That, it doesn't make sense. I had to collect a core rock, I had to go to a device dispenser, collect a treasure chest. And then I decided to collect a core rock that, in retrospect, was probably one of the hardest core rocks to collect from the way I attempted it. So here's the idea. Jump down into the water and save yourself to the securing lens. Get up, get up, get up! Bro, he was stuck underwater for an hour and a half! So there are two options, try it again or try something different. We're gonna go for the first option. See, it worked. And we finally got that core up too. After that, I had to collect another treasure chest with five arrows in it. I had to sneak past three snipers to collect the next treasure chest. And I definitely didn't almost die by doing that. Don't! Don't! Oh, you little... What in the... And after that, I could finally collect all the three treasure chests that I had missed out in the very beginning because all of them had needed a scent. Easy peasy. Not every soldier needs to have perfect hearing or eyesight. Would be preferable though, not gonna lie. Those are actually very easy to get. Ah, there is a chest. No, wait, that's a... Oh no, that's a, that's a chest, yeah. I thought it was a boulder for a sec. Alright. That is, in fact, a large zone I charge. After almost completely throwing landing on that elevator platform in the back to get the treasure chest, I made an insane clutch move and used Ascent while being on a falling wing. That was insane! There's no way that worked! Oh, oh my god, I almost slipped away. That is our very first large zonite. A large zonite will be huge in this challenge because we're gonna do a ton of it. And after that, there was only one Korok that needed the sand left until I could open the door to the Temple of Time. Closed door complete, alright, that is the first out of I think 23 main quests come 
complete it. After getting the ability to recall objects and getting the ability to teleport by Raru, there was only one shrine left and I could finally leave the Great Sky Island. Right? <laughs> no. Three wings? Oh, I don't know. Oh no! Oh, that is problematic. I may or may not have accidentally slipped off the thing. There's no way that worked. Free! Let's go! Only two more things remaining. Flux Construct is in fact very much dead. I'm so stupid. I actually knew where it was. No, 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 no! Oh my god, Froggy, why did you do that? That was almost very really stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Mom, get the camera, I'm cooking! Cooking. Alright, and now there's only one thing remaining. Jump down to the surface and then teleport back into the Room of Awakening to get the last Korok. And after giving my Decayed Master Sword to Zelda, jumping down to the Kingdom of Hyrule and teleporting back up to get the last Korok, I had finally completed the Great Sky Island to 100%, at least as far as I currently could. And now, let's see just how many percent we got of this 25 minute long video.